we're all talking about it. I have no clue what is going on with the Milwaukee Bucks. It's obvious that there's a problem right now. There's a problem right now in the organization. It's a problem right now with Giannis and Dame. I mean, both of them, to be honest, people say Dame looked like he going through the motions. It looked like Giannis too, but Giannis actually performed. Doc Rivers, that man, um, it just, it, it says a lot about coaching because with coaching, you got to have players that are willing to run through a wall for you, willing to do anything for you. And I feel like these past couple of teams he had, like um, LA Clippers, uh, uh, Philadelphia 76ers, and now Milwaukee, it just like, it looks like nobody can stand him. It looks like people really don't like him at all. And I'm not saying he's to blame. I'm not saying Giannis and Dame's to blame. I'm saying everybody's to blame from the front office all the way down to the guy that's passing out towels. So the other night, um, Milwaukee played Memphis, and they lost. Um, the score was 122 points versus 99 terrible absolutely terrible Milwaukee Bucks right now are one of four they are second to last in the Eastern Conference Finals they are tied right now for the worst record with obviously Detroit Pistons there's absolutely no way because apparently you have the top 75 players right you got Giannis and you got Dame some th this should not be happening and I've been said this a long, long time ago. When Dame got traded, he, he said it from the jump. He don't want to go nowhere but Miami. That's already a red flag. That is already a red flag. And you still picked him up. That's why I'm just like, oh, my goodness. That's definitely the biggest red flag. And the second biggest red flag, here comes Doc Rivers as a head coach. Knowing that he has a history that... From what it looks like, people that do podcasts now, I even listen to Gilbert's Arena, don't nobody mess with him. Don't nobody like him for real. It's like, it's not like, don't nobody like him. It's like, don't nobody want to play for you, which is, it's not good. Um, It's just, it's, it's pretty pathetic. It's really, really pathetic what's going on. I remember when the Milwaukee Bucks used to put fear in people's hearts. Right now, it's, it's looking like a cakewalk. And they lost to the Memphis Grizzlies. Mind you, Memphis Grizzlies don't even have Smart in the lineup. And the um, the other kid with the arms, um, Bang. All it was was John Moran and a bunch of rookies. And John Moran, he's coming for revenge. So everybody else in the league, look out because he's on your head. It's, it's falling apart at this point with Milwaukee Bucks. It's falling apart. I believe you should trade everybody, start from scratch. It was fun while it lasted. Like they said, everything that has a beginning has an end. And this is the end. People thinking like it's the beginning of the end. No, this is the end. And we might as well nip it in the butt right now. It's early in the season. And I don't want to sound like everybody else. Like, oh, they're only one and four. It's still the beginning. It, it don't look right to me. It just don't look right. It don't look right on paper. And it don't look right just watching it. And I, I, I always said this. The biggest bag they fumbled was definitely Joel Holiday. Once they traded him, everything went downhill. Every last piece went downhill. Drew Holiday gets traded, what he do? Win a championship with the next team. Clearly, he's not the problem. But I, I think everybody's to blame. With Doc Rivers to blame, um, Giannis and Dame's to blame. Uh, I believe the the general manager, um, what's his name, John John Horse, he's to blame. He low key looked like he my age, like he's thirty something. He looked like a kid, but it's just it, it, it's it's a shit show. I don't want to say it, but I have to say it. it's a complete shit show. And people saying, oh, fire Doc Rivers, you can't do that, because that would be what their third head coach that they paying right now. At this point, the NBA need to investigate Milwaukee Bucks. It's like where are all this money coming from? But it's just, it's it's really a shit show right now. But anyways, um, leave a comment. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Because it's, it's, it's looking bad, man. They're like second to last. They're one of four. They're tied with the worst record with Detroit Pistons. And it's saying a lot. It's saying a lot. 
But um, also, don't forget, hit up www.bigtimehoops.net. We are having AAU around the freaking country. Make sure you have your teams register and sign up, boys and girls, from 9U all the way up to 18U. Check us out, all right? Peace.